Earth's equator, mm -hmm. if you extended it out to the sky, okay. there's a line on the sky that corresponds to Earth's equator. That's called the celestial equator. All right. There's another line that crosses the celestial equator. So think of it as two rings at an angle right. to each other. Right. This ring crosses the celestial equator at an angle of 23 and a half degrees. Okay. 23 and a half degrees. 23 and a half degrees. That line is the path throughout the year that the sun takes against the background stars. Of course, the sun is not taking a path. Right. We're going, We're around, going the, around it. 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 Right. But let's be pre-Copernican here right. just to make the discussion simple. Okay. Now, why is it 23 and a half degrees? Because we're tilted that way. That is the tilt of Earth. Okay. And because we're tilted, right. the sun doesn't line up with our equator. If we were not tilted, that path of the sun would be right on Earth's equator. The moon, in its path around the Earth, has its own line. Path, its own line. That's angled five degrees to our ecliptic. <sighs> okay. okay. So if the moon is crossing the path of the sun, mm -hmm. at the same time the sun is in that spot, you get what? An eclipse. An eclipse. Right. So this path the sun takes around the Earth is called the ecliptic, because that's where you would get an eclipse. Nice. Okay. Eclip the ecliptic. Yes. All right. Anytime the moon intersects it, if they're together, eclipse. Bang. All right. We call it the ecliptic.